Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minuteman. Ah, uh, that ain't it. Glad to help. But I can't protect the Commonwealth all by myself. Hell, I could barely protect these people. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. Don't worry. I'll be right beside you all the way, General. Uh, <clears throat> I've still got something I want to tell you, if you've got a minute. Sure, go ahead. When we first met, I admit, I had my doubts about you. But you've done nothing but impress me. You're just who the Minutemen needed to bring us back from the brink. Why do you care so much what happens to the Minutemen? When I was a kid, the Minutemen were my heroes. They were the only good guys around, really. When I turned 17, I joined up with Ezra Hollis's company. He was one of the good ones. Really believed in the old-time Minuteman way. We had a few good years there. I felt like I was part of something bigger than me. Like I was really helping make the Commonwealth a better place. If things were so great back then, how did it all fall apart so fast? I'm sure there was a lot I didn't see or know enough to pay attention to. You know, the politics and rivalries and bad blood between the different groups. I guess General Becker was able to keep a lid on it, keep everyone more or less on the same team. But after he was killed, it all came out in the open. I couldn't believe it at first. These guys were supposed to be Minutemen. They were supposed to put their duty to the people ahead of everything else. You probably think I was pretty naive, huh? I guess I was. Still am, too. Even after everything, I still believe that the Minutemen can be what I always thought they were. The good guys. We are the good guys. We're doing our best. And a lot of it has to do with your example. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, thanks. Anyway, I appreciate you taking the time to listen. Anytime, Preston. Thanks, man. We probably better get back to it. <clears throat> is this a better time to talk? No. If you need anything from Fred. Anytime, Preston. Look, I know I put you in an almost impossible position when I asked you to leave the Minutemen. I didn't have any right to ask you to take that on. I guess I was kind of desperate at that point. I still don't know why you said yes. If it was for me or for the Commonwealth or for some other reason. It doesn't really matter. I just want you to know that I appreciate what you've done. We've got a long road ahead of us, for sure. But I don't doubt that you're the leader the Minutemen needed. Thanks for the vote of confidence. It's good to hear, especially from you. We make a good team, General. No doubt about that. I've taken up enough of your time. We'd better get back to it. Excuse me. You should give yourself credit sometimes. You really are one of the good guys. Thanks, Preston. I already know you think so. I know. But I don't know if you really get it. How unusual you are. Since we met, I think you know I've really come to respect you. Both as a leader and as a friend. Most people are just out for themselves one way or another, even the good ones. But you're different. You really care about other people, even when it isn't convenient or even safe. I've seen you risk your life more than once to help people just because it was the right thing to do. I just wanted you to know that, well, that it matters, that you're making a difference. You just described yourself, Preston. I hope you realize that. Quite the mutual admiration society we've got going here, huh? No, but I hear you. And thanks. Let's just agree to both keep that in mind going forward, huh? All right, enough chit chat, huh? Hey. I'm still hoping to uh, have that talk with you. Is this a good time? Yeah. Go ahead. I've been thinking back lately on how things were for me when we first met. It was the lowest point of my life. I mean, all my closest friends were dead. Everything I believed in had turned out to be a lie. I'd failed everyone who ever relied on me. I'd led them to Concord, and we had no hope of getting out alive. The thing is, that was actually okay with me. I was ready to die. It was what I felt I deserved. It was what I wanted. You don't still feel that way, do you? No, not at all. That's what I wanted to talk about. My point in all of this is that 
Well, you saved my life. And not just by saving us from those raiders in Conquer. I mean that you made me want to keep living again. I guess that sounds pretty sappy, but it's true. If we hadn't met, or if you'd killed those raiders and then just taken off, I don't know if I'd still be around. I think I would have found some way to, you know, end it. Maybe not by shooting myself in the head or anything, but just by not caring about staying alive. So I just wanted you to know that. How much our friendship has meant to me. I'm glad you decided to stick around, Preston. The world needs more people like you. Well, now you're making me embarrassed. I hope I didn't make you too uncomfortable telling you all that. I just felt like it needed to be said, you know? I guess we should get back to it, huh? <laughs>